Oh, uh, a, a new face? It's always nice to see someone new here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, why didn't I notice you earlier? Yes, my apologies. Uh, ever since breakfast today, I've been sort of lost in thought. I, I keep thinking of my dear mother's cooking, especially her famous pie. You see, all we got here is venison and fish. Venison, then fish. And then fish, fish, and more fish. I can live with all the bullshit that's thrown at us soldiers. But the longer I live, the more I realize there's not much to live for, uh, except food. And I'd kill for a slice of that pie. As if it were that easy. I ain't much of a cook. And Rorik, the one we have here, well, <laughs> he says we're soldiers, so we can stick our complaints up our asses. Really? Uh, sure, I remember it well. Here you go. Still tastes like shit. Exactly how my mother would make it. It's just what I needed. Oh, don't get me wrong. I, I really appreciate what you did for me. It's just that every time I doubt my service in the horns of the South, I need a reminder of why I enlisted. My mother wasn't much of anything, to tell the truth. She always said I was good for nothing, and that I should be glad she even kept me. And every day she'd bring back home a new uncle. Many of those uncles liked to kick me out of my own house when they were drinking and getting busy. Then, when she'd sober up and got rid of an uncle, she'd bake me that pie as an apology. It always tasted like shit. If the other villagers hadn't been feeding me, I would have starved to death. Hence the pie. Yeah, I, I do. So, despite the shitty weather and the world being on the verge of collapse, there's still nowhere else I'd rather be.
Who's there? The living don't come around here without a good reason. What do you want? To bring me peace. The quiet I so long for. Ask for a blessing from the shrine. You don't want to do that. It never ends well. I'm haunting the shrine. Against my will. I'm Kendall. Or I used to be. Hard to tell if I still am. Or only used to be. Maybe I... Usually am. Are we human? Only when we're busy with the affairs of the living? Do we need to sleep, shit, eat, drink? Do we need to live? To call ourselves human? I don't know. I'm too stupid for this. I once thought ghosts and race must be wise. And yet, here I am. But that wasn't what you asked me. I don't remember much. I was a keeper, a lance corporal. There was an ambush, bandits. They killed me on the spot. It was right here, exactly in this spot. And from that very moment, I've been bound to the shrine. But I don't want to be. My place is there, in the horns of the south. Remember Burke, the others uh, are a blur. I know we had a strong bond. We knew each other for years, served together for years. I don't know much else. I keep forgetting things. I need to finish my service. I need to rest somewhere more appropriate. Take my remains, find Burke. He'll know what to do, that's all. You can come closer. Don't let my face fool you. The only thing I've ever raided is my wife's pantry, after she made the preserves. You saw Rosen? How is she? Oh, she must be worried sick. I wish I could join her, but they won't let me in, as long as I have this damn brand. My wife Rosin and I used to live in a village called Little Grove. A lovely place where we hoped to grow old together. We knew there was a local gang terrorizing the area, but we always hoped our village was too small for them to notice. Unfortunately, the chief, Bald Caught, they called her, needed a new tanner, and I was known to be quite skilled back in the day. I never told my wife, but Caught contacted me through one of her men, asking me to come willingly. <laughs> I refused. I tried to convince Court I'd be useless to her. It wasn't even a lie. I have bad joints. I can't work the tanning rack anymore. Not that any of that mattered. She showed up the next day with her thugs and a branding iron. It was her way of recruiting new people. Once you were branded, 
You had nobody to turn to but caught. They burned down the village, then they left. I can't help but think it was all my fault. Rosen decided that even with my brand, we should try our luck elsewhere. She covered my face with a scarf, so we could make the journey to the horns of the south without too much trouble. But that's where our luck ran out. My wife got sick, and the keeper at the gate didn't want to let me in after he saw the brand on my face. Told me I should be glad he didn't kill me on the spot. I couldn't let Rosen continue, not in the state she was in. So I promised to be in touch when she recovered. Except that now, I have no way to know how she is. If only I could get rid of this damn brand. You do that for me? I don't have anything to pay you with. Maybe Rosen has a few coins stashed away. I'm not sure, though. Bless you, my friend. I'm sure I'll find some way to repay you. Bloody hell. Not another ghost. Leave me alone. I swear if you don't leave me alone, I, I kill you. Had loads of fun doing it. Afterwards, they let us go. Probably thought we'd croak somewhere on the road. That's all. I've no idea why you care, but... Fine. Just don't think I've gone crazy. I'm telling the honest truth. It started a while ago. I went home to sleep because uh, we'd had a bit too much to drink. Uh, I got into bed, but something was wrong. The air was uh, chilly. I couldn't fall asleep for a long time. And the moment I started drifting away, I heard... Berg. I'm telling you, oh, it scared the pants off me. But that wasn't all. I knew that voice. Just couldn't place it. But then I saw... It was Kendall. Now, I know how it sounds. But there he stood. Alive, but not. I mean, it looked like him. I thought I was going to keel over, but I didn't. And now it just keeps going. There used to be four of us, you know. Me, Tagden, Finley, and Kendall. But he died a long time ago. And in a gruesome way at that. When he became our commanding officer, we went on a mission together. We got ambushed by bandits. They slit Kendall's throat and maimed the rest of us. Had loads of fun doing it. Afterwards, they let us go. Probably thought we'd croak somewhere on the road. That's all. How should I know? I never used to believe in ghosts. I thought they were just... Old wives' tales to scare kids away from raiding their pantries or throwing shit at their huts. Take this away from me. Don't you know this kind of thing tends to bring bad luck? I don't want to see him again. Uh, I went there one evening. Gods only know why. I could feel something odd. Like I had Kendall thrashing around in my head already, calling to me. I've never been a godly man, you know. One time I visited a shrine, and look what that got me. A ghost hovering over my head. I dug around a bit looking for Kendall's remains, and then I heard howling. I, I got scared and ran away. At first, I thought it was a wild animal, or, or some weird beast. Thinking about it now, I guess it must have been Kendall. He was letting me know he was coming. Damn him. All right, I went there, and Kendall didn't say a thing about a burial at sea. All he said was that he won't know peace until he takes me with him to the underworld. 
I may be old, but I don't want to go there yet. The idea terrifies me. Now I see what he's up to. He's using you to remind me of his threat. God damn it! We set our friend up. Don't you understand? We traded his life for ours. Tagden told the bandits to take Kendall because he was the commander. Told them he would be a good hostage. And if they let us go, he would tell the captain what had happened. And they just laughed, but... I, I was still hoping they'd listen to Tagden. I don't know. Tagden and Finley seem fine. But I felt bone-crushing guilt ever since it happened. Wouldn't you be wondering if you could have done something more than just beg for mercy? Finley lost his tongue, tagged in his hand, and me. Now I'm an old hobbler missing a leg. We all have wounds to remind us of what happened until the day we die. And that's why we decided to never tell a soul. Please, take his remains away from here. Maybe say a good word about me to his ghost. My years of guilt surely must be enough as penance. Berg. Berg told you about Kindle. Why the hell did he do that? What? By <laughs> Kindle's what? You're telling me a ghost comes to him at night, knocking about and not letting him sleep? Shit! <laughs> I sure wasn't expecting that. Hell, if you ask me... That entire thing was done and dusted long ago. Wasn't about that, but about who deserved that promotion. I never thought it should have been me, mind you. Kendall was an arse licker. If the captain told him to shit himself, he'd have done it, standing to attention. Berg deserved the promotion. He was strong as a horse, best at fighting, and first of us to come to the horns. The rest came a bit later, though we were all still kids. Anyway, Finley thought the same. Shit happened, that's all. Kendall got promoted to Lance Corporal. He was strutting about like a fancy lady in a new petticoat. One day, he said, We've got a job to do. All four of us. We were ambushed. Berg cracked. Same with Finley. Me, I had to act. That's it. 
That's the story. Listen, kid. You better stop talking out of your ass. You weren't there. And I was. And Berg Finley, too. I saved our lives. Don't talk to me about honor. Now get out of my sight. I've had enough of this bullshit. I didn't know how else to find him. Now you've led me to him. Thank you for that. In return, I think I can let you use this shrine the way it was meant to be used. When it wasn't all tangled up by my haunting presence, let's hope we'll never meet again. Belongs to us. I'm not beaten yet.
We're not alone. Stay focused! That's all you've got! Is that 
supposed to hurt. <laughs> Supposed to work. You're only making me angrier. <laughs> 